Good morning. Today we have to replace a footer so that a new pool cage can get installed. I got a buddy who owns a pool cage company and he called me with an issue about this job saying that this part of the footer has sunk down so it needs to be tore out and re-poured. I came out and looked at it yesterday and it's very strange but that's exactly what needs to happen. So he's going to meet me here soon and figure out how I can re-pour it while there's still this old cage sitting on top of it. I think he's going to tell me what I can take off and what I can't. So this is the issue here. This corner. And I'm going to assume it's from this gutter. But as you can see, there's a void right underneath the footer. I could stick my whole hand in there. And so I need to take a laser and figure out where it starts to slope down. Because that I gotta tear out and replace. Like you can see the gap from the footer and the screen cage in there. There's a gap right there too. So I got the skid steer here today because this concrete pad with the pavers then set it on it I'm gonna try and save it's not connected to the footer so once I get off this these thin set of pavers here I'm gonna take my forks and get in here and lift it up and pull it out and set it to the side I just have to be careful because these pipes run right underneath of it so when I'm digging in there with my forks got to make sure I don't hit any of those pipes so that could be a little interesting and this is one whole concrete pad like the concrete is all the way back there so there's concrete underneath this whole thing and then they just sand set pavers on top of it so I just need to really pull this footer back about 10 inches cut it off break it off and then go from there Ethan will be here soon with the other truck and trailer and then we can get started Palmer and Pacquiao you went right I was literally like staring at you oh no I did not see you I was full on out the window <laughs> So first thing I gotta do is chip off some of these thin set pavers and then I can take some of this pool cage apart. My buddy was here this morning and told me that I can take down this whole side here. So. Yeah, let's get the laser. Oh, this is hotter than hot. Got it. That was easy. You didn't even see the pipes. I was looking at the forks though. 
Good. But you're trying to find up here on the deck, right? Yeah, I need to find, I need to go over there and get that height and then see where it's falling. No, not on the inside, it has to be on the outside. Because we gotta be on this level. Go ahead and get the sawzall and the uh, extension cord. Oh, 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 alrighty. Is there a plug on the deck? Um. Uh, yeah, there is. I'll go! You're gonna get attacked through the glass. Oh, yeah. Sockets in, the, in my truck. You want to keep this cord out and wrap it up and get out the way? Yeah. Get straight in your mouth. Straight what? Just like get straight in your mouth.
it up. Found some wire mesh. I'm gonna cut it up. Uh, like it. So as you can tell, this footer did not come out very easily, which it's not supposed to. Footers are supposed to be the strongest part of your concrete foundation. Uh, this one had a big piece of rebar going along the side, which it's supposed to have, and it also had wire mesh in it. So. Took us a little while to get this out. Wish we would have rented a jackhammer for this job, but the old sludge hammer and the saw did the trick like it normally always does, and we got it out. I'm trying to grab it with the fork. That rebar. Oh, I got the air pump in my truck for that one wheel row tire as well. I don't know which one it is, but with that concrete though, I'm gonna get that pallet off the trailer and bring it back here with the skid steer. We just gotta put it on that pallet. <laughs> Alright, 
that's how I got that footer out of there. Footer, I guess you could call it a footer. Wasn't the best. <clears throat> and we didn't bring the dump truck today, so gonna have to use the old enclosed trailer as the dump truck. That's always a good time. Once I dump this pile of concrete from the wheelbarrow and the dump trailer, I'm gonna get the skid steer, come back out here and grab that pallet and go to the back of the enclosed trailer and throw all the concrete bags on it and then bring it back there. A lot better than loading them all in a wheelbarrow and making a trip, making multiple trips. <clears throat> Poor enclosed trailer, man. I hate when I gotta do this. But it's part of the game. Come on now. Ugh. That's gonna be a fun cleanup. Oh my! Cool. Look at that, dude. That's awesome. Massive. I'm not even scared of this. That's Austin's PB. <laughs> For real. Hey, brother. A two -pointer. Or maybe, bro, just. Oh, it's coming out the woods. That's a big one, bro. That's like a four pointer. Sure are pretty. Sure are pretty. Got it formed up. We're about to start pouring it here in a second. We got pipes under here, so this side has to be higher. So we had to make our line on the inside, and it's going to float right up to the top of that board. But we have to float it down to this orange line. So, not always the most fun, but. What you gonna do?
What? Has Jose gone back to Mexico since he got his citizenship? I have no idea. Oh well, yeah, for his teeth. Oh yeah, that's right. That's over there on Waterside. What's it called? Pile it up so I can see my line. Like, don't put it on the board like that because it'll make the line go away. So, could you see a visible crack where it hits away? No. Well, I mean, it's kind of hard to because when I was beating on it, I was beating off all the cobblestone at the same time. And it was just flying at me. And another annoying thing is we couldn't put this form board down all the way because these pipes you see the pipes yeah there's pipes on the inside so i had to run a chalk line on the inside and on this side of the board we can float it to the top of the board the chalk line goes here and then it's like an inch to two inches down right there so this is gonna be level yeah it's flat okay yeah it's completely flat it's just the chalk line is not flat because of the and board's you, not do you think flat. this section is okay yeah not. Do you no. know if it's flat? Yeah, I mean, I did it with a laser. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, look, the mound, this mound is too high. Right. So all that water is just gonna collect in here right. and go right in there. So if we bring that pop up to where Ethan's standing right there, yeah. it's fine, because then that's all going downhill that way. Yeah. So that's what I'm thinking, just bring it to right there and pop it up. Yeah, it was probably going under that thing too. Just undermining that one. All right, we got her all poured up. As you can see, it floated to the top of the board over there, and then it slowly goes down, following the line. Had to do that because of these pipes. And then we're just going to pick up these pavers and build up with sand to get it to be the right height here. And then we have another um, repair that we have to do over there tomorrow. So I'm going to let this dry up a little bit. and finish it a little better and then uh, start packing up and we'll be back here tomorrow we gotta bring some sand set that on we gotta set that right that'll be interesting forks not mess up anything we'll see what it do
sell this bag on there. folks we are packed up and headed out of here tomorrow we're gonna come back and bring the dump truck with some sand and fix up all the pavers and finish up so I will see you all tomorrow